Welcome to Let's Play Bob Maple's Castle Quest, written by Mike Holtzman and Mark Kirschenblatt. When I was a kid, I used to play this game on a CompuServe terminal in the museum located upstairs from my city's public library. I was pretty young, and there were only so many people that could talk into driving me to the museum and hanging around while I messed with their computer terminals, so I never managed to finish this game. And since it was a game that ran on CompuServe's servers, uh, it was never generally available for download. With CompuServe long gone, I didn't think I would probably ever get to play this game again, but an internet person named Arthur O'Dwyer managed to get in contact with uh, Mike Holtzman, one of the original authors, and together they were able to retrieve the source code of the game from the U.S. Copyright Office, uh, where they had filed a complete listing when they wrote the game. Arthur then went on to make the code compilable in modern Fortran compilers and released it on GitHub. So, without further ado, let's fire up this uh, semi-period appropriate modem and ter terminal emulator, dial into one of my servers, and take a look at Castle Quest. <laughs> Welcome to Castle Quest. Would you like instructions? Well, I haven't played this in about 33 years, so yes, let's get some instructions. You are in a remote castle somewhere in Eastern Europe. I will be your, hands, your eyes and hands. Direct me with words such as look, take, or drop. To move, enter compass points <clears throat> up or down. To get a list of what you are carrying, say inventory. To save the current game so it can be finished later, say save. Say restore as your first command to finish a game that had been saved. The object of the game is to find the master of the castle and kill him while accumulating as many treasures as possible. Sounds like a wholesome mission. You will get maximum points for depositing the treasures in the vault. Notice that the descriptions of treasures have an exclamation point. Be wary as many dangers await you in the castle. Would you like more detailed instructions? Sure, why not? To suppress the long room descriptions, type brief. To return to the long room descriptions, use the command long. Score will give you your present score in the game. Help will give you a hint about an object in the room, but it will cost you some points. To end your explorations, say quit. Good luck, you'll need it. Would I like more detailed instructions, I guess? To aid you in your travels, you may ask for a hint by saying hint object, where object is the item that you need help with, e.g. help cross. Saying help room will give you some help concerning the room you're in. You are in a large tarnished brass bed in an old musty bedroom. Cobwebs hang from the ceiling. A few rays of light filter through the shutters. There is a nightstand nearby with a single wooden drawer. The door west creaks in the breeze. A macabre portrait hangs to the left of an empty fireplace. The shutters are closed. There is a silver bullet here. Okay. Oh, so from this game, I don't know. I don't. I don't really remember how far I got. Um, you know, not knowing how much was left. I remember. You know, there's the silver bullet. I think there's a revolver that you use that in. There's like a werewolf that you maybe have to deal with. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's about all I really clearly remember. So let's, uh, let's start taking a look around. Um, let's look at that, uh, the nightstand with the single wooden drawer. Look nightstand. Look what? Look drawer. Okay, I guess you can't look at the drawer. Let's open the drawer. There is a silver cross in the drawer. Let's take cross. Okay. Also, let's take the bullet. I think there was some mention of a silver bullet here. Okay. Inventory. We've got our silver bullet and silver cross. Uh, the shutters. The shutters are closed. Let's open the shutters. 
The shutter is open, but there are bars over the window. Something on the ground outside is glistening brightly. Can't look at the window. Can't look at the shutters. Can't look at the ground. Look outside. Can't look outside. Okay. Let's uh, let's move on from the bedroom. Let's exit to the west through the creaky door. You are in a dim corridor lit by gaslight. Doors exit to the east and west. A stairway leads down. Well, let's see what's to the west. Oh, the door is locked. Unlock door. I'm afraid you don't have the key. Knock on door. Do what with the on? Kick door. Do what with the door? Okay, you're not going to be able to do that. Okay, let's go downstairs. Down. You are in the parlor, an old-fashioned sitting room. A display case of dueling pistols hangs over the mantel. Stairs lead up a dimly lit corridor. Up to a dimly lit corridor. Open double doors lead west. Two wide hallways lead north and south. There is some horror hotel writing paper here. There is an old gun here. I think I hear footsteps behind you. Well, can we take the dueling pistols? Uh-oh. <laughs> Guess I better not make any typos. Take what? Take pistols. Okay. Okay, I didn't take the dueling pistols, but I took the old gun. Let's load the gun. Okay. What else was here? Look display. Look case. Look pistols. Okay. Uh, take paper? We have, okay, bullet in gun, writing paper, silver cross. Look behind you. I don't think you could do that. Okay. Well, great. So we're armed. We're armed against vampires, I guess, with the silver cross. And we have some writing paper. Can we look at the paper? No. Okay, so we can go west through the open double doors or north and south through two wide hallways. Let's go through the double doors. This is the dining room. A long table is set for 12 guests. A swinging door leads north, and an arched passage leads south. Open double doors exit to the east. Well, let's go through the arch. No, let's go through the swinging door to the north. You are now in the kitchen. 12 Swanson's frozen entrees rest on the counter below a microwave oven. The beginner's guide to cooking lies on a small table. A swinging door exits south. Other doors lead east and north. Somebody left some tasty food here. Can we take the food? Okay. We've got the tasty food. I wonder, I wonder what we're going to do with that. I don't really remember the tasty food. Uh, what did we do? I think we came in from the south? Yeah. Uh, I guess we might as well continue on to the north. You are in a small pantry full of various foodstuffs. To your left is a beautiful china closet filled with dishes pilfered from various restaurants. On your right is an open drawer full of plastic knives and forks. An empty bottle is discarded nearby. This castle certainly has a uh, motley assortment of items. Let's take the bottle. Um, can we look in, look at the china closet? Look closet, look china look dishes no okay none of that um okay let's go back to the kitchen uh, that's not north that's south um okay let's uh see what's in that door to the east the door the door is boarded up well on board door pry door open door yeah, you can't. Okay, fine. Let's let's go back to the the dining room. I think was to the south. You are in the dining room. Ooh, there is a fearsome werewolf in the room with you. Can I shoot the werewolf? Shoot werewolf. 
you killed a werewolf. An old gypsy woman appears and drags away the body. There is a silver bullet here. Well, those that's convenient. I mean, you don't you don't really want a rotting werewolf corpse in somebody's castle that you're I don't know trespassing in or whatever. And conveniently, we, there's another bullet. I was wondering what was going to happen there. Let's take the bullet. Okay, let's. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember if you could save on the Castle Quest version of this. Let's save the game. See what that does. Oh, that that ended the game. That, that's not really what I wanted to do. Okay, well, we had made 21 moves and scored 25 points. Guess it's time to find out whether that uh, save restore feature works. No, no instructions. Restore. Oh, cool, they do. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, having killed the fearsome werewolf, and, yeah. Uh, let's see, which way did we come from? I think we came from the east. So let's, yeah, let's check out, well, originally, I mean. Let's check this arched passage leading south. You are in the foyer. An umbrella near the door is dripping on the thick pile carpet. A black cape is draped neatly over the banister of a grand staircase leading up. A magnificent archway leads north. Corridors lead south and southeast. A small hallway heads west, and a narrow stairway goes down. The butler is sound asleep. Can we look at the butler? No. Can we talk to the butler? No. Can we wake the butler? The boother, wake, butler. The butler is motioning that he wants to write you a note. Can we do we? Um, can we give him our writing paper? Give writing paper. Give, give paper. Hmm. Okay. Is there like some verb that I don't know here? Oh, I didn't. Uh, that's not. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the instructions. Maybe you can't get the instructions <laughs> once you've started. I don't know. Um, give butler paper. Give paper to butler. How about, okay, use paper. Use writing paper. Give writing paper. Um... I mean, okay, the butler, he wants to write us a note. You could write a note on writing paper, generally speaking. But how do we give the writing paper to the butler? Oh, maybe um, drop writing. Drop writing. Gosh, I need to fix this terminal's backspace. Hold on. Um... Okay, we're going to take a break, fix the terminal, and then we'll be back. <laughs> 